A-I-O-U. Hello everybody and welcome back to From the Depths. Today we're going to be building a jet fighter. So uh, I think I've got my tanks mostly laying down. I don't see myself adding many more improvements to them or many more additions either. So we're just gonna start on our air force now, I guess. So let's get the body of the jet fighter first. How far? How long do we want this to be? I don't know. Okay. So I'm thinking we can do something kind of like this, more or less. Maybe I want this to be. Uh, never mind. Never mind. That's okay. That looks pretty good, actually. So, I think this will probably be okay. We just gotta add its nose now. Let's see. Do I want. To... I'm gonna try to use a transition block here. Let's see. Yeah, kind of like that. So let's get some slopes. And there we go. That'll be the main body. Now we just need to add some wings. Probably like here. Uh, a little bit more backwards here, I think. Okay, maybe we go to 2 meter slopes now. And I think that's where I'm gonna cut it. So, let's just add metal blocks here for now. Just to get the shape down. Let's see. Alright, so, this is gonna be a jet fighter, so it needs to have custom jets. Air. There we go. Small custom jet. Around there seems good, right? Other way, I think. Hmm. Okay, let's get these in here now. Okay, I might need to reverse this. Small combustor. Small jet connector. Small exhaust. Uh, a combustor, I think. So, uh, let's get a more compressors and send an intake here. Uh, other way. Small jet generator. Uh, no, nah, we don't need that. Okay. So, this is going to provide a lot of power, I think. Let's add some more extra compressors. For the extra efficiency. If, yeah, that added 8% more efficiency. I don't know if I want to add more combustors, but I definitely want to add more air intakes. And sure, I probably am going to add just a little bit, just a couple, just a couple, wait, how does this work? <clears throat> or do I want to put a small injector? Do I want to put a small injector? Uh, probably not. Maybe just another combustor. Uh, yeah, I think one combustor. So this is going to give us a nice amount of thrust. Let's see. Yeah, let's add some 
just a couple of wings here. Just so we can get some basic lift. It's not going to be a whole lot, really. Alright, these are upside down. There we go. Lift factor of 1. No, I don't want to do that. Hmm. Where to go from here now? Let's get this thing... Let's get this thing some fuel storage. A little bit of fuel storage. We're gonna patch up the back here. There we go. Boom. Oh uh, yeah, pretty flat back there, but I guess that is where I'm gonna have my uh, tail wings. Okay, so let's give this thing its fuel. So, we're just gonna open the top. I think we have the fuel here at the back. Probably won't. That, honestly, this is probably enough. So, we just get a my new fuel engine now. Let's get this fuel engine here. Let's get a cylinder. Let's add some carburetors. And let's add a hole pipe. Let's add a hole pipe down here. So, here we go. Um, hmm. Now we just separate these two compartments. I don't think separating them is really going to protect anything, but uh, it looks nicer, I think. Alright. So after that, I think we're going to want to have some ammo. So let's place it up here so we can give it another meter of armor under it. Just to add some minimum protections I don't think they're really gonna do much but hopefully that'll stop the occasional plane from going up in flames so let's add a mainframe AI card slot there we go and uh, hmm okay so this is all the room we've got here. Okay, let's add this inter-vehicle transmitter. Wireless transmitter. Endpoint selection, target prioritization. And, uh, general processing card. Just one. This thing's probably gonna use radar. Radar doesn't need as much detection power. So, what do I add to the front here? I'm gonna add uh, surge protectors from now. There's two of them. And let's skip this thing, it's actual weapons now. So, missiles. Is it? Is it? Yeah, it's gonna need an identifier for under add on. Oh wait, let me turn on mirror mode. Medium missile. Wait, let me get rid of that. Uh, this way, probably, I'd assume. I'll put it. I'm gonna put them one more back, just to have a longer missile. So AI local weapon controller. Let's get the uh, wireless, yeah, wireless receiver. There we go. And uh, we just add this here now. Hmm. 
You know, I'm gonna check out the stable power of the engine. Okay, yeah, has a pretty good stable power. So now we just gotta edit these missiles. Uh, a little. Honestly, I think I'm gonna make them EMP missiles. So M or EM, yeah, EMP, EMP. Amp doesn't sound very good. Okay, so let's get this thing some fuel now. Fuel tank, and then just fins. I think active active radar seeker would do okay. Uh, this thing's definitely gonna need APN guidance, or just prediction guidance. What does APN guidance do? Okay. Uh, hey, I think prediction guidance is gonna be good enough. What's this thing's EMP damage? Uh, not great, not great. However, this should be able to turn really fast. It has a turn rate at 10 degrees per... Okay. Hmm. Free internal space used for EMP. A max duration of 5 seconds there. Warhead arming delay, probably something like... 0 0.25 guidance activation cluster core locking hmm okay what's its amp damage now it's doing okay I guess sure this will probably do okay let me just save this as something unnamed will do for now and let's strap it on here. Unnamed. Uh -huh. So, let's get this here. I don't really know I like that. Hmm. Okay, that's fine, I guess. I could stick the detection on the front here. I think I'll do that. So detection components. Radar gimbal tracker. Wait, let me get the... Okay, let's go to the AI tab. Radar gimbal tracker. Sure, I'll put one facing down too. And, uh, I guess that'll be it. Now we just gotta cover it up as best as we can again. Or maybe do something like a transition. Yeah, a transition would do better here, I think. Now we just have to edit this part in. Okay. Can I do this? Or is this not connected? Oh, okay. This does have to be an AI connector. Sadly. Could probably make this longer. Wait, no? There we go. You know, I'll make this one a 4 meter up here. And we'll use another transition block. Okay, let's see. Is this going to work at all? Center of mass is about here-ish. So let's just get a... Where is it? Where is it? Normal jet engine. So this is a pitcher and a pitcher. Okay, the center of mass is not aligned to one block, which is unfortunate, but uh, I guess we'll just have four of these. It won't really matter, I guess. Okay, so let's just make these rollers spread to neighbors. 
roll will spread to neighbor. Roller spread to neighbor. Roller spread to neighbor. And you know what? I'm gonna skip ahead and I'll see you when I have a more complete version of this plane. Again, a more complete version since this plane probably won't ever get to a truly useful form. It is very small after all. And even then, when I do get around to showing you the plane, it's still gonna have some kinks to work out. I'll see you then. Hello everybody, welcome back. Alright, so uh, I've been working on it for a decent lot, long time, let me just turn it off, and it's, it's gonna crash into the ground now. Uh, it only got a couple of locks knocked off. So as you can see, um, I've added a lot of things to it. Like a lot. It's actually pretty complex now, but either way, uh, let's just restart the designer because it did crash into the ground. So uh, let's let's spawn it in first. Let's spawn it in first, and let's let it gain some air. Come on. It doesn't rise very fast. Okay, so uh, is is that all the air you're gonna get? All right. Well, either way, let's spawn the XF thirty Gannet. I'm pretty sure my jet fighter is going to lose, because on the one test where I did win, the F1 Janet crashed into the ground by itself, so I don't really think that counts. But, you see, uh, we only got hit by one missile there. Okay, two missiles there. Still, pretty good. Pretty good if I do say so myself. I mean, I tried to add, like, actual evasive maneuvers, it just didn't work out very well. Oh no. Oh, okay, well, we got, we got hit. Are we just gonna, okay, yeah, but I guess we'll crash now. Bruh, the entire thing just evaporated. Literally just evaporated. Oh, okay, so, uh, let's, let's get rid of the jet gannet. And let's just, uh, spawn a couple of these fighters. Because I'm going to show you what they are good at doing. They're good at killing things that don't have anti-air capabilities. So as you can see, I spawned uh, some six of them. So let's get something from the Onyx Watch. Uh, they don't have any planes. They overall in general don't have anti-air weaponry. So let's spawn something pretty big. Something, okay, maybe not the Rhino. Uh, the Longhorn. The Longhorn will do fine, I think. Hopefully the Longhorn doesn't have too much armor. But as you can see, they're all gonna... Hopefully they don't crash into each other, actually. They might do that. Oh, the Rhino does have... Okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's probably fine. Because as you can see, that gun probably doesn't work anymore. Because it just got hit by a bunch of... Oh, missiles. Because it just got hit by a bunch of... Uh, EMP missiles. So they're probably dead now, which is a good thing for us. Let's go check up on its health. Alright, we didn't really do much. But they're going to come in for a second round now. They're starting to turn. And uh, the missiles drop. Wait, what? what are they doing? Oh, okay. One of my jet fighters hurt itself, apparently. Yeah, I am gonna have to fix that, but for for right now, it, it's okay, I guess. So. We're still trying to kill this guy over here. Check us out. 99%. I probably should make my camera faster for this. Wait, what happened? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do some things, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix some things around. Alright, so I, I, I think I fixed the problem, so... Let's find something smaller this time, like a sentinel. Well, something quote-unquote smaller, it's still pretty big. Still, still a big honking tank. 
it's just a smaller big honking tank. Okay. So let's get let's get five jet fighters, I guess. See what they do. Okay, you know, I'm um options. I'm gonna have to up my speed. My camera speed. Okay, so uh camera boost speed, uh probably something like sixteen. Uh, there we go. This should be plenty fast. So as you can see, they're all shooting the missiles. And that's a lot of EMP. Go check up on its health. Oh, it's at 96%. So, you know, that was okay. Now they're gonna turn around and they're gonna go in for their second volley. something why are they shooting themselves that shouldn't be happening like it really shouldn't ah uh, whatever so its main gun seems to have been disabled now that's a good thing a ramp coming in Okay, so, here come the ones in the back, hopefully no shooting each other this time, that's no good. Hmm, alright, you're shooting, that they are doing, they are shooting. Here come more missiles. Has it has this done anything to slow down the sentinel? I think it has. Its engine seems to be messed up. Let me, let me try to get a look inside the engine. Never mind, I'm not going to be able to get a good look inside of the engine. It'll die though. That'll, it'll definitely die. It seems to be slowing down. I think. Come on, are, are you faltering? Come on, just kill over and die already. Anytime soon. Okay, well, you know, we are getting closer to its inevitable, inevitable death. We are getting closer to that. Just, could, could, we, could we accelerate the, da the dying? Could we accelerate the dying? It's not dying very fast right now. Come on. Any more missiles? Yep, more missiles. Okay, okay, come on, Sentinel. This fight was already over before it began, and you know it. You're just gonna die. You might as well die now. You might as well die now. You might as well. Come on. Any more missiles around here? Uh, kind of. Okay. Wow, that was a bit of lag right there. Okay, so uh, the jet fighter accidentally shooting itself seems to have become much less of a problem, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. In the tests I was doing, it that was a pretty big problem, and it limited their useful lifespan in battle to basically like a couple of minutes at most. However, none of them seem to have killed themselves just yet. And the Sentinel is getting hurt pretty bad. 
Is this gonna be it? No. Come on. This guy's very tough. He refuses to die. However, that will not matter in the long term. Any more missiles coming up? Yep, plenty more. Come on. Drop the bombs. He's still going. He's still going. Why is it still going? Okay. Is that it? Is that is that the killing blow? No, that's not the killing blow. So um. Oh, this guy. Or is he gonna shoot? Is he gonna shoot? Apparently not. Oh, never mind. He will. He will shoot. But I don't think those are gonna hit. Or they might. They might. Okay. Never mind. They probably won't. So here come the other missiles. Here they come. Okay, if this doesn't kill the thing- Oh, okay, it's AI dead. Now, the- the- what is it? The Sentinel. Uh, the Sentinel- the Sentinel has been reduced to nothing but slag. Uh, well, that happened. Hello everybody, uh, so I've done some quick changes to the fighter. Still not perfect, but it's it's much better than I think it was before, so let's find in the Ganic. The thing it previously failed to kill. Alright, let's see. So it fires the missiles. And they hit. And the gannet has been brought down. So yeah, the missiles are better. Just overall, everything in general is better. You saw it it's doing some evasive maneuvers right now. Something like that. So let's make it fight some strikes now. Big bombers. Well, not big bombers, but they're bombers. So this is what it's mostly going to be going up against. These strikes and dusters. For air opponents most of its opponents are probably going to be tanks but for the opponents it does face that are in the air this will probably be why is it aiming over here okay th probably just trying to kill the dead corpse of the Ganet, i guess all right so you can see it has flares it does evasive maneuvers Its evasive maneuvers are basically just going up. Going up very quickly, but still going up. Starts to turn around. Fires the missiles. And one strike down. Turning around for another run. Fires. That's the strike. That's the second strike destroyed. Does its evasive maneuver things again. Again, I don't think the strikes are going to hit it. The strikes have bombs after all. Alright, fires again.
and that's the last Shrike, Shrike destroyed. So you can get the general gist of the jet fighter. It's pretty good for I. Th it's pretty good for its cost. I think. Wait. It's yeah. It's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty cheap. It's small. It's hard to hit, and it can destroy other things bigger than itself. So with that all said and done, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. The reason I say hope is because there's always hope. There's just no chance. Goodbye.